Thanks. The family of a 17 year old shot and killed by a Chandler police officer in January now say the department targeted them after they called for the officer to be fired and prosecuted. Back in January, Officer Chase Beback Miller shot Anthony Cano twice from behind. Cano would die three weeks later. Team 12's Josh Sanders spoke with a family who now raised questions about how they were treated a month later by Chandler officers. 17-year-old Anthony Cano's aunt, Eva, has been outspoken after her nephew's death and says Chandler police targeted her after a city hall meeting February 25th. She says her and her son, Marcus, were pulled over for a license plate problem and that one officer had his weapon drawn. My man has his gun drawn right there. Cell phone video captures the moment Eva and her son, Marcus Cano, got pulled over by Chandler police after a February 25th city hall meeting. There was a reason but it wasn't how we were pulled over. I had an AR drawn on me walking up. Four. AR drawn on me. With the AR. The police report obtained by 12 News says they were pulled over because their license plate didn't match the vehicle, which Eva recently purchased. The officer verified the vehicle was hers, and the dealer put plates from her old vehicle on the new car. The family believes they were pulled over for another reason. I feel absolutely, absolutely. I was targeted. I asked them flat out, did you follow me from City Hall and pulling me over? The traffic stop even more concerning for the family because the officer had his gun drawn. The Chandler police report states the rifle was pointed because the officer was assisting on a high risk stop and said in a statement they considered it high risk due to quote, possibly being stolen. I think they want us to feel like they're overpowering us. Now Marcus and Eva are calling for reform in the department and prosecution of the officer that shot Anthony. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office is reviewing the case. In Chandler, Josh Sanders, 12 News.